The Morning Office for October 10th. Bless our God, you peoples. Make the voice of His praise to be heard, who holds our souls in life and will not allow our foot to slip. Come to me speedily, O God. You are my helper and my deliverer. O Lord, do not tarry. You are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence since I was young. I have been sustained by you ever since I was born, and from my mother's womb you have been my strength. My praise shall always be of you. Be still then and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The morning reading is taken from Mark's Gospel, chapter 10, verses 23 through 27. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were astounded by these words, but Jesus insisted, My children, he said to them, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for someone rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were more astonished than ever, saying to one another, In that case, who can be saved? And Jesus gazed at them and said, By human resources it is impossible, but not for God, because for God everything is possible. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be still then and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The morning psalm is read from Psalms chapter 90, verses 1 through 8 and verse 12. Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to another. Before the mountains were brought forth or the land and the earth were born, from age to age you are God. You turn us back to the dust and say, Go back, O child of earth. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday, and when it's past, like a watch in the night. You sweep us away like a dream, and we fade away suddenly like the grass. In the morning it is green and flourishes, in the evening it is dried up and withered. For we consume away in your displeasure. We are afraid because of your wrathful indignation. Our iniquities you have set before you, and our secret sins in the light of your countenance. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Be still then and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, I pray that your grace may always proceed and follow me, that I may continually be given to good works through Jesus Christ my Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Lord God Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power, that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen.